Uh, today, I want to talk about my truck uh, for you. Um, this is a Daihatsu Hijet K truck. Uh, some people seem to know uh, Japanese trucks very well and overseas, but uh, still, maybe. Um, people outside of Japan um, K-truck is still um, kind of a new concept I guess so I, I decided to explain what what it is <clears throat> um, if anybody is serious about using a pickup truck for work uh, this is the truck everyone in Japan prefers um, so everyone, basically all the working people drives this truck. Um, I, I don't know, I don't know anybody who lives in, um, a rural area who doesn't own a, at least one pickup truck like this one. Um, all brands are good. I just happen to own a uh, uh, Hijet, Daihatsu Hijet. Um, specs are the same basically. And today, Hijets are uh, owned by Toyota. And um, I don't know, I don't exactly know how, how that uh, corp corporate merger. Um, is but uh, seems like Toyota owns much of the Daihatsu uh, stocks and um, so um, you go to Toyota dealer and if the uh, label says Toyota K truck it, it's made by Daihatsu same thing is true with um, uh, Samba of uh, Subaru. Um, Samba is also now made um, by Daihatsu and in fact Daihatsu Hijet is the most popular uh, pickup trucks in Jap throughout Japan um, and not not saying that um, Daihatsu is the best um, pickup trucks but um, it's a uh, it's the most commonly chosen pickup trucks in Japan and this one is uh, how old is it it's I think it's about seven probably about around seven years old and um, um, I have my Gano kennel um, strapped in the back of the truck and yeah uh, my gun dogs inside the kennel and this this is how it, how it looks maybe I should um, Start the engine. <clears throat> okay, let me start the engine for you. Just a manual transmission, if you know how to drive manual. Um, it comes with automatic as well. It's in a real drive, uh, for uh, two wheel drive at the moment. And I want to keep it in a two wheel drive uh, setting. use. I highly uh, 
unless it gets stuck I, I won't use the four-wheel drives because um, it rides better I think There's one more thing that you really need to know. There's um, when you want to um, when you want to change two-wheel drives and four-wheel drives, um, you have to be in a complete stop. Okay, you cannot be moving and at the same time try to change the um, uh, four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive. Uh, it's going to break your uh, transmission okay. so you have to make sure the car is in complete stop when you want to change four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive or you um, diff lock uh, high low gear um, you cannot do this when you're moving that's it I'd like to show you um, how, how this vehicle performs okay this this one here is a pedestrian walk well actually it's it's in the park okay see how how it works in a narrow uh, narrow way like this no problem no problem going through um, a narrow road. Okay. In fact, I could probably go through here. I just have to move that cone and go through this area, but I won't. Okay. Just wanted to show you. 